<laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of do the pose. Do the pose. Yeah. Say, this is for you at home. Oh, there you go. Perfect, perfect. Okay, hi there. We are here at the Equine Affair in Ohio today with Guy McLean, and he was the winner at Road to the Horse this year. How you doing? Going wonderful. How good, are you? Good, good. So what have you been doing since the Road to the Horse? I've been riding that beautiful young horse. Oh, you, that's right. You br you bought him, didn't you? You betcha. I yeah. had to take him home. He's had about uh, probably 25 rides in the last 30 days, and he's doing some wonderful things. He blew my mind today. That, that Road oh, to the Horse. You brought him here? Yeah, great, I, I great. I did a demonstration on him. I rode him and worked my four horses off of him. Then I worked him at Liberty. I counted him around and stopped him and laid him down. The crowd just that's blown away with him. amazing. Kudos. He's a special boy. And, yeah. And he goes there. And I got them to roar as loud as they could, and he looked around as if to say, "Where are all the other people?" Oh, because <laughs> after rode to the horse, he's never going to be frightened of a crowd. No, absolutely not. He's pretty well sensitized to that. He's at this ready point. to go. Yeah, yeah. So where are you calling home? Mount Pleasant, Texas. Oh, you're staying in Texas now. Yeah. Okay. My major sponsor, Prefit, has their Prefit Rodeo and Ranch equipment are based there. My horses yeah. live on their ranch. Okay. And that's where we are when we're not on the road. Okay. Yeah. And do you go back to Australia often? Yes, ma'am. We're going home um, in May. Or just at the end, two weeks from now, we go home. I've got a five-week tour there. I've got four beautiful mares I can't wait to get back on. Oh, I yeah? I haven't ridden them for four months. I'll have two days and then back in front of a crowd there. Oh, so it might be like riding Somebody's the horse Somebody's been keeping them again. handy for you, though, I imagine. No, no, no. No? No, they rest. No? Even if there's someone who trains better than me, they won't train exactly like me. They're my girls, and they'll be waiting on me to come home. And they jump in line three minutes, and they're ready to go. Really? So oh, special. that's awesome! Yeah. You are awesome. You did. Yeah. We had so much fun at the road to the horse. It was a blast. It was incredible. Yeah, wasn't it? it was. It was. It. It was amazing to have all those people in the same room, and we're all talking with them. It's like, oh my God, all this knowledge here it was crazy yeah. cool. And we're all just people doing what we oh, love. Oh yeah, you're just all people doing what you love. Yeah. And yeah, we all are, and we all love horses, and that's why we're here. Yeah. To show everybody, this is what's out here. That's that's Check right. it out. Keep the horse industry going. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. So um, after your vacation, you have some stuff oh, to do a, in Australia. It's not a, well, well, not a vacation. We go straight from here to Madison, Wisconsin. Oh. And then we go straight from there to a five-week tour. We have six six shows over five weeks in Australia. Then back here for two months, and I'll probably take Ozzy and another young horse and, and do a few shows with them. And then I head back to Australia for the second biggest show in Australia in August. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're still talking deals with them, but they, they it's a show that has 600,000 people over 10 days, and I'll get to ride in front of 20,000 people every night. That's a little crazy. Oh, that's Are you going to do any poetry? Yeah, well, I certainly do it at home because everyone understands it. I'm, I'm careful where I do it here. People seem to love it, but a lot of the sound systems are a little, they, they've got a little bit of a delay, and people say to me, we can't understand them. So I just care for oh, where I do them. Because oh. home in Australia, they know they know the accent. That was just like, if my, I was all shivers. Oh, beautiful. It was so cool. It was so, <laughs> do you have any of those published? I mean, I certainly they, do. you I, do. I write, write for Performance Horse Magazine in Australia, and I put a poem out every two months, as well as a horsemanship article and an update on America, what we do here. They, my fans keep in touch with me there. And I, and I have a poetry DVD that I have out that oh, great. people are able to great. see. And that. they can buy that on your website? You yes, have a website? Yes, I do. What is your website? Emily, what's the website? Guy McLean USA Tour. Guy McLean USA Tour. Okay, yeah. all right. Just had to ask the wife. Yeah, and so um, who does the cooking at home? Well, me. Uh, McDonald's today. No, 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 not really. Not really. <laughs> well, we, we don't do too much cooking. We're on the road all the time. Um, mm -hmm. and, and certainly there's not as much cooking in America as there is back home in Australia. Back home we're all brought up on, on cooking your own meals, whereas a lot of places here people don't seem to. Mm -hmm. So we try and eat as healthy as we can, but we don't yeah. do a lot of cooking. So you yeah. don't do many keg stands? Many keg stands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't Drinking know. the beer? No, I don't drink at all. You don't? I have people tell me that that means I'm un-Australian, but um, you know. No, that doesn't mean that at all. No, yeah. you're you're who you are. That's, That's right. totally fine. I don't drink beer either, but I do uh, yeah. have a glass of wine once oh, in a while. Good on you. Good on you. <laughs> so um, how many horses do you have of your own? I have um, six here in America now, and I have about 12 in Australia. And, um, you know, I've got way too many and nowhere near enough. Yep. <laughs> oh, geez. You ever get to just chill and just take your pony out in the backwoods and just go for a ride? Uh, no, I, I love I love improving them. Every time I'm on them, I love improving them. And when they're at the highest level, then I don't I don't ride them very much in between. I say, you know everything you need to know now, and I'll use you when I need you. And then I go and get something else that needs to be worked. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's been wonderful having Ozzy at home. And yeah. everything with him is a new experience. And to see him grow, he's just shining up into the most beautiful diamond. Is he really? Oh, oh my gosh. That's, that's 
that's well. really good. Well, yeah. so great to see you again. You too. And I hope I'll see you again. You're going to be here next year. You're going to be doing the equine affairs. Well, I hope so. I know that the equine affair likes to turn their trainers over, but as long as the fans ask for me to be coming back, I'm sure they'll have a space. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be at the Mass Equine Affair this year, do you know? Well, I'm not sure. We've been, we're in talks. Not, okay. The Equine Affair have been wonderful to us, yeah. and, and I'm sure we, we'll have a long and lasting um, relationship with them. Great. It's a wonderful show. Awesome. Well, so good to see you again. You too. You take care. Thank you. Bye Love bye. to your viewers. Hey there. We are the three fillies of Horse A Day. Chris, Tina, and Jackie. We would love for you to check out some more of our videos and interviews at horseadayblog.com. Ha, <laughs> ha,